clashes have broken out between Kurdish protesters and police in southeastern Turkey over a hunger strike by Kurdish prisoners, most of whom are serving sentences for alleged links to the rebel separatist group, the Kurdistan Workers' Party. Shops were boarded up and children kept from school in support of the protest. Around 900 prison inmates have been refusing food for nearly two months in protest over the arrests of hundreds of Kurdish activists, lawyers and academics and are demanding better living conditions for the PKK's incarcerated leader, Abdullah Öcalan, who is being held on the prison island of Imrali. Over 100 inmates died and hundreds more were left permanently crippled in a hunger strike that began in 2000. In his first public comment on the hunger strike, Turkish Prime Minister Tayyip Erdogan said that his government would not be held to ransom by merchants of death. Over 40,000 people have died in violence between PKK rebels and government forces since the group was set up in 1984. Clashes have intensified over the past few months, with Erdogan accusing Syria of arming rebel separatists in retaliation for his government's criticism of the bloody crackdown on pro-democracy uprisings by Damascus 19 months ago. Turkish and Syrian forces have been exchanging cross-border fire over the past month as fears mount over potential spillover from the Syrian conflict.